At this makeshift distribution centre, 25 kilometres from the border with Ukraine, three of the Irish trucks arrived today to disperse their load. They are jam-packed with food, nappies, sanitary products, all desperately needed here. So it's probably one of the most important loads I've ever done and great to get here and get it offloaded. I just want to help them out, like, I just want to help them for poor people anyways, like, you know, because that's a bad news for the Ukrainians, like. The heart, the heart is broken, like, you know, so it's 25th century and we have a war on the world, so it's bad, like. There's a huge consignment, too, of oats. It's ironic that Irish porridge will feed people fleeing a land famed for its wheat. P-I-O-T-R-O-W-S-K-I. Marcim is the boss around here. He showed us these, sent as part of the Irish consignment. Guys, we really don't need in the uh, humanitarian aid high heel shoes. Unfortunately, those arrived yesterday from Ireland. Uh, and we really need a food. People are starving in the Ukraine and they need those things, not those. It's a massive operation. The supplies are unloaded, then sorted, food, care products, buggies and even wheelchairs. There's an army of volunteers. Ella came home from the UK to help out. I saw on TV, on news, when they bombarded the Mauripol hospital and I saw the kids, the moms who were like uh, pregnant. I'm a young mom and I just... I, I, I feel that I needed to help. These volunteers are about to drive this van. It's just been packed with the kind of goods we saw unloaded from the Irish trucks. They're about to drive these supplies across the border into Ukraine. This is the last leg. We follow as far as the border. Tonight even, food from Ireland will give sustenance to people like this mother, grandmother and child crossing this evening before dark. Emma O'Kelly, RTE News, at the border with Ukraine.